So the first part of the song is like an E, but without um, your ring, yeah, no, your middle finger on that one string. And uh, these two fingers um, are, should stay there the entire time, uh, or when you're doing the finger picking stuff. Um, and then they'll obviously move when you play the chords. But um, yeah, anyways, so how this part goes is it's a uh, basically an E, but it's without that finger I just mentioned. So you're going to have your uh, ring finger on the D string, second fret, and your index finger on the G string, first fret. So the picking is going to start on the low E string, and it's basically going to go down to... You're going to skip this string, the second string. It's going to go... I'm sorry, that was wrong. So... Basically what that was... Low E string... D string... B string... And G. And that you follow that same picking pattern. The only thing that will change is your finger positioning. So for the first one it's that, for the second one you're going to add your middle finger on the second fret of the low E string, so it should sound. And then after that one, you're going to go down to the A string and play the same thing. Then you're going to go back to that. So all together it should sound. then it just repeats. Only the second time you play it, you don't pause. You just keep playing. And you actually end up playing, uh, or what I did there was with your pinky. Um, it's going to be over here on the B string and the, you know, the B and G string on the second fret. And then it's going to be, uh, op or not, is that open? Yeah, open. Or not open, but uh, on the same same string that your your index finger's on. So it's gonna be it's gonna be uh... that's that part. Um, but then for the chords, is I've seen I've seen it uh, played two different ways. Some people play the low E, but actually, if you listen to the song when he changes from the E to the what would be the B chord. Because if I've the mo a lot of tutorials that I've seen, they go like this. I'm getting into you because you got to me in a way words can't describe. Which isn't bad sounding, but if you listen to the track closely, he's playing the high E, and instead of going to be on that second chord, he's actually taking off his pinky on that power chord and bringing it down one fret. So it should be. So that, that's basically a power chord E, all strings open, you know, you can play them all. And then the second chord is, I don't know what it's called, but you just take off your pinky and replace that same string one fret down. And this next one is like a reverse power chord B. So like if you get a B going right here, all you do is you switch your fingers and it should sound like that. an A. I play the A without the, you know, the extra, just... So it's... And then, certain parts just repeat. The only thing that changes from here is the bridge. And for that part, uh, it's gonna be... This is another part that I've seen a lot of people try on YouTube. Um, I don't think that it's accurate, however. Uh, I listened to it. There's two guitar parts. I'm only going to play one of them. Um, one of them is right, right here. Okay, so it's going to be on your, let's see. Um, so it should be right here. Actually, okay, so you play it with, it's going to be like a power chord. Uh, right here on your power chord C or whatever uh, and then all you're going to basically do is add your middle finger to the B string on the 5th fret 
So, and you're going to walk it down two frets, and you're going to add your pinky on the same string that your middle finger is on, one fret up on the, on the same fret as your ring finger. Then you're going to walk that down another two frets, play the A string open, and then you're going to go back to that same thing that you played earlier. Or, I'm sorry. Uh. I'm sorry, let me try that again. And then when you play it that last time, instead of playing this again, he plays just an E. So that last, so when you're playing it the last time, it should sound. Then it goes back into the. And that's basically it. Um, apologize for the sloppy start. Um, still trying to get the hang of how to explain things. I need to get more familiar with. You know all the notes and strings and stuff which I used to be familiar with but then I started learning things by ear so I kind of forgot everything that I know but uh, that's basically how you play a song if you have any questions if you need me to redo it because you didn't understand anything that I said um, I would be more than glad to do that just let me know what to do to make it better um, but other than that I guess that's gonna be it so thanks for watching and I hope that I was able to help you guys and that will be all peace